Alright, so, last time on Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade, we officially entered the land of Ilya. It is snowy, and it's honestly not too bad. Like, it's a nice change of pace compared to the last... Well, like, the first two-thirds of the game, or however... I don't know how long I'm in. I don't know how long the game is, but... Compared to the Desert Chapter and the Western Isles Chapters, it doesn't seem all that bad. And we're on Chapter 19 today, The Bitter Cold, so I can only imagine we're still in the Land of Winter. But let's see what it's all about. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, <laughs> Bishop Martell in his weird voice. After defeating Martell and making it through the forest, Roy and company face the blizzards that are common of Ilya's winters. Ilya's harsh weather has been a natural defense in itself against invaders. Oh. New person, coupled with Ilya's greatest natural weapon, Sigoon, captain of the Pegasus Knight squad that had turned to burn, oh, so she's a villain, was preparing to attack Roy. I should have known she was a villain, because she's got that evil smirk on her face, a weird color lipstick, and a mole. <laughs> it's, the it's the perfect storm. <laughs> hey, Sibs of Zaros, welcome, welcome, nice to see ya. Hope you're doing great tonight. Oh no, it's a fog chapter. Oh no, it's a fog chapter in the winter with lots of mountains and a bunch of Pegasus Knights. Oh no, we might have people die because I can't see. This isn't good. <laughs> I'm already going to be on my guard. Hey Proxima, nice to see you, welcome. Ooh, you're watching a stream of someone playing Ocarina of Time for the first time. That's rare. That's really cool though. Man, that's like the holy grail of, of Let's Plays. <laughs> Alright, man, we don't have much vision. We're definitely taking at least a thief on this level. We Okay, there are these ballistas here. But I don't know if the enemies are going to have units in them. So I probably will not be bringing Thaney for that reason. Thankfully, I know exactly where the boss is. Two villages. It's okay, we got Milady. It just got to Adult League, nice. Trying to comment on the community tab last night, but stupid YouTube kept removing your comment. Oh, that's weird. Were you, like, dropping some swear words in the <laughs> in the comment, or, or was YouTube just being a pain in the butt? Both are, in, both are possible, but I'd lean probably just towards the latter. YouTube is weird at times. All right, who can we take, who can we not take? I'm not taking Thaney, because I'm afraid she's going to get shot down by ballistas. We're definitely taking Clarine, because... Oh, we're definitely taking... Uh, where are you? Where are you? Uh, Astol, there you are. There we go, look at how far he can see. Okay, so there are no enemies around at the beginning. That's good to know. Good to know. Uh, who else? Should I... Definitely taking Elfin. <laughs> Definitely taking the Elephant. Um... Hmm... Hmm... Definitely Milady. Should I take Sophia? I just, I just worry that if we're up against a bunch of Pegasus Knights that can ambush me, that Sophia might die. Due to her... Actually, I mean, she got 37 HP thanks to the Angelic Robe. She still only has 6 defense, and she... 13 speed is not bad, but it's not high enough that, it, like, she can avoid being doubled by some of the faster units. If you've got some really fast Falco Knights who aren't using Steel Lances, hmm... Well, life's not fun without a little risk. I'll probably take Bart, right? Douglas, I don't think, is really worth it. I could take Klein, if he's able to use the Ballistae. Hmm. I, don't, I guess I don't need Bart, Ray. He could be helpful, though. How? I, I guess I can't really use the Ballistae if I can't see the enemies before they come, so... Eh, nah. Klein, Klein, if anybody's in danger of dying, it's probably Klein. He's got worse stats than Sophia in terms of survivability, so we'll leave him on the bench. That's fine. Alright, now we gotta trade. Alright, Chlorine. You were trying- so, was YouTube just not letting you vote on that? Or was it not letting you leave a comment on the poll? Because I'm not sure if you can comment on polls. Alright, um... We don't need the Tina staff and the Mend. Also, how many lightnings do we have? Only one? Oh, ooh, but we can give Divine to, um, Ellen. Okay. So we're taking that Guiding Rain. Okay, it wasn't letting you leave a comment. That might, it might just be you aren't allowed to comment on polls. I don't know, though. YouTube be weird. 
We have more than one healer, so I don't think I really need vulneraries. Alright, Astol, you ha definitely are taking some torches. Alan, you're going to take that divine tome. Oh yeah. I wanna keep I wanna take some restore staves just in case we end up with some stupid <laughs> some stupid status staves. It would not surprise me. Oh, also, we had a new character join, didn't we? Oh, well, okay, Nime, I think, just auto-joins then at the start of the chapter, because Nime was definitely like, Oh, honey, I'm joining your team. <laughs> Not exactly like that, but you, you get the idea. Okay. Oh, no, the Gant Lance is going to break soon. That's okay. Ah, uh, this looks... Yeah, I think that looks pretty solid. Oh, we should... Nah, the torch staff sucks. We're not taking it. Let's just play. <laughs> Chapter 19, The Bitter Cold. Hey, Mobius, welcome. Is Melody supposed to be sound similar to My Lady? Apparently. I don't know, like, the spelling to me looks like it would be Melody, but it's apparently pronounced Milady. I don't really care. Okay, girl on the left looks pretty nice. Girl on the right looks kind of evil. <laughs> also, I'm pretty sure girl on the left was one of um, Tate's, like, <laughs> uh, sidekicks. Captain, the enemy has arrived. They're on the other side of the mountain. So they've arrived. It starts. Captain, are you sure? About what? The Aturian army is saying that they would liberate us from Bern. In that case, we would gain independence. Do you really believe what they say? What idiot would fight a war for the sake of others? Once they defeat Byrne, they would station themselves as the next dictator. I mean, that's honestly not an unreasonable thing to believe. Even if Roy, the leader of the army, is a 15-year-old. <laughs> well... Then it's better to be with Byrne. They're better at warfare. Come now, we have more immediate problems. We've got to get rid of the enemy that's right in front of us first. Are the Ballistae ready? Yes. The archers are at all of their stations. Are all at their stations. Good. Shoot at them from a distance. That's why I didn't take uh, uh, Thaney, even though I, I bet Thaney would be useful on this level for her flying ability over the mountains. I don't want her to get pecked <laughs> from a distance. Shoot at them from a distance. They'll be floundering around in the dark in this powerful blizzard. Observe nature's wrath. Here's Nime. Such strong wind and hail. I can't see three meters in front of me. Ilya's winters are always like this. Well, you can't complain if you're fighting a battle in winter. Never invade Russia in wintertime. Did you not learn anything from history, Roy? We must attack now so that Burn doesn't have any time to recover. That's true. It would be a disaster if the Dark Dragon was really brought back to this world. I was thinking, maybe the Dark Dragon is in human form as well. Perhaps maybe she's me. <laughs> maybe all the dragons are in human form now. No, I, I know who the I know who the dark dragon is. I have been spoiled on that. I've also heard stories of dragons in human form living with people. Nabata. Hmm. Did you say something? Nope, nothing. I don't know anything specific, but I have read in an ancient scroll that dragons started taking human form only after the ending winter. The ending winter. You have heard about it, have you not? Uh, maybe. Yes, only in legend. At the winter of ends, the laws of nature were turned upside down. Day became night, and summer became winter. That's just called going to the southern hemisphere. That's it. These scrolls are so old and damaged, I couldn't decipher all of them. But one thing is clear. The ending winter was a disaster powerful enough to bend and twist the planet. What caused it? Who knows? Popular belief says that the laws of nature were twisted when the dragons unleashed vast amounts of magical power, but I have no idea what really happened either. But it does seem certain that dragons started taking human form after the ending winter. It must be more than coincidence. How many degrees is it in this chapter? We're probably in the negative Fahrenheit. Or the, like, single digit Fahrenheit. Yes, I agree. Well, either way, the truth lies in burn. Uh, we get the Fog War music. Nime. Nime is a level 18 druid with 25 HP. 
Okay! She's one of those units! Well, she comes with a Physics Staff. That's good. That's a good staff. A rank in Dark Magic and A rank in Staves. I think she can use the Warp Staff all by herself. Okay! So... <laughs> if she gets hit by a single physical attacker, she is dead. But that's a pretty nice magic stat. 21 magic. Let's see, 21 magic? Well, how does that compare with Sophia? Okay, so... Nime is more powerful than Sophia, but Nime also has, like, 15 levels over Sophia, so I don't think that's gonna last. Alright! I mean, I see her potential as a unit, but, um... I'm not using her long term, but free physics staff? I'll happily take that. I've been looking for another one of those. Will we get Spy Fox free in 2022? Yes, you will. I promise you this. In fact, I have already started recording it. Won't say any more than that. Okay. Let us use that torch. Oh, hi! Steel Lance, Javelin, Steel Lance, Javelin, Steel Lance, Javelin, Steel Lance, Silver Lance! How many of you can reach him? Oh, like almost all of you. Uh, two people. 20 attack, 19 attack. Yuck! Alright, so he'll take 11 damage from one, and he'll take 12 damage from... Now, even if he gets hit by both of them, he still survives. <laughs> you forgot it was 2022. You know, that's <laughs> understandable. Alright. <laughs> watch this, watch this, folks. La 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 la! Alright, yeah. Have that Killer Lance equipped. I've come to such an... Oh, wait. I always do that old man voice. We're doing a different one. Uh, let's see. You have come to such an isolated area like this? The prophecies were correct. The world is covered in darkness. A single blade of wind will slice through the darkness and the light will shine again. Cool. Oh, Air Caliber. I already have four of those. I'm not worried about Milady. She's, she's a tough cookie. She ain't gonna die. For season 4, backer baseball custom character should be Buster, Bart, or Charlie Brown. All of them decent choices. I'd probably lean towards Charlie Brown, except I'd have to kind of intentionally make him terrible. In order to keep with the spirit of things. But anyway, hey, we'll see. And hey, when I when season 4 inevitably happens, I people will be able to vote. Oh, a vendor. Doggone it, I forgot my silver card again. Okay, at least stuff is cheap. I just want some lightning tones. <laughs> it's a deal, Mobius. How could I forget? It's because I'm so used to being like, oh, I, I don't need to buy stuff from the in-game shops. I can just buy stuff from the shop in, uh that I have in my convoy, but maybe not. Pegasus Knight's in Ballistae. Captain Saigoon is after you. She's hiding in the blizzard and waiting. I kind of already knew that, but thanks. Fawn Elfin haven't even gotten their first support yet. How is this possible? I know Fawn can support, uh, Elfin. Uh, you know about the bullets die to the east, right? Uh, we're out of the range here, but the item shop over there isn't. Uh, that. Thanks for telling me that. After I went to the item shop, doggone it, I forgot about the stat boosting items again. That's okay. Guiding Ring on Clarine! Might be the last promotion of the game. Alright, Clarine. <laughs> she gets a hat. Well, she finally reached double-digit magic. Let's say I'm... Clarine's one claim to fame is her, the fact that she has a horse. That's literally it. Boonk! Trek doubles! Star Trek! <laughs> Ice Age 18, Fire Emblem 6. Okay, Trek ain't doubling the Falco Knight. Unless this Falco Knight is really bad. The Falco Knight is really bad. <laughs> 
Nice job, Trek! Oh no, a ball Oh no, a ballista! <laughs> One damage to Milady because she has the Delphi shield. <laughs> Ouch. Don't hit Astol. <laughs> I will do everything in my power to make sure that Trek survives. Oh, hey! This is why you bring Restore Staves! That is why you bring Restore Staves. Alright. Well, move the people in the back of your army first. Ah! Astol, you're in the way! Here, Sophia, heal up Astol. He definitely needs to be high on HP. Hey, ladies, hoaz! I, I really don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, but welcome, welcome! I'll call you Les. Alright, Chlorine. Please restore Astol to his former glory. This way, Burnt Ray can move in. Bow in hand. Oh my gosh! Look at that damage! Bart Ray with the steel bow. Nothing can survive. At least not and not anything that has wings. Here we go. Of the four games on the poll, which one will I play first? I mean, I'll, I put Spy Fox on there basically as a joke, but. I will be playing Spy Fox. The thing is, Spy Fox will be a Let's Play. The other four, the other three are going to be streams. So out of those options, whichever of those three that were stream options out of the randomizers, whichever one gets the most votes will be the one that I end up playing first. Spy Fox Free will be coming as a Let's Play. Alright, Lance... Star Trek. Star Trek. Actually, no, not Hand Axe. This is fine. <laughs> the Eclipse Dome. I should probably sell the Eclipse Dome for cash money. Whoops, I already visited him. No matter. Okay, hang on. I gotta do some math. One, two, three, four, five... S no. I don't think he can reach the... Uh, that's a shame. I don't want to put Elfin in harm's way. Yeah, he's one short from being able to reach the fort. Oh! Hi! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, Lance the Pants with the 3% crit! Well, it's a good thing I sent Milady that direction. I just hope one of those guys don't have a killer weapon. Or like a Worm Slayer. You fool! Do you even know who you are striking with that Lance of yours? This is the Hero Deke. Oh yeah. None of the none of those streams I mentioned were gonna be multi multi world. Those were just regular. <laughs> Get out of here, Cav. You're gonna need some better equipment than that. See, I'm not worried about Milady. She's like invincible. Oh, hi there. <laughs> it's a good thing that Lance has such good evasion. It's not a good thing that his strength stat is lower than I'd like. Okay, Silver Lance. Alright, it has some decent power behind it. Come on, get a crit. Alright. You live today, John Henry. <laughs> Thaw has the goofiest dodge animation. 
<laughs> she's like this massive dragon that's just like, it literally looks like Big Bird when she dodges. Why did you think that was going to be a good idea, Mr. Archer? The only thing that can really pose a threat to Milady is, uh, Air Caliber. Ooh, Nime looks pretty cool. I like the blue uh, coloration of a dog on it. <laughs> How do you miss a giant chicken with a ballista? Oh, hey, what do you have? A men's staff and a vulnerary. The enemies were stupid and surrounded the guy who needed healing. It's Gantlance time, Woody. <laughs> you know, if they added Fa as a character on Sesame Street, I I'd be cool with that. Sesame Street's always looking for new, interesting characters to add. I don't understand how Moedi's only a level five if she if I've been using her this much. Alright, we're restoring Nime to her former glory. Maybe Nime can physic up, uh... Milady? Oh, pfft. No problem. Dang, Nime. Okay, so Nime is going to be a, a good extra staff user. But her 25 HP worries me. Like, I feel like one strong enemy is going to finish her off. And get out of here! Aww. <laughs> I don't want old lady to lead to my death. If old lady sleeps, she can't do anything, and she's more liable to being killed. Way to go, Sophia. Alright, that's a Sophia level up. <laughs> You're gonna catch Nime in no time. Block Sophia from the top. <laughs> okay, you're the guy with the sleep staff. Cool. Why do you have such good dodge? I know it's the forest, but come on. <laughs> come on, man. Uh, possibly are us. I really, really love the Ace Attorney series, and I love recording those Let's Plays, but they don't tend to do very well in the view count. Which is a shame. I feel like they're funny. Ho oh, ho. Nah. Gotta build up that axe rank. Oh wait, that guy has a sword. I'm as... <laughs> he has a sword and we're still this accurate with the axe? That's actually impressive. Oh yeah, Cav Bros forever. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I think they're pretty entertaining. At the very least, if even if even if they're not that funny, Marty and I have a blast recording them. Burns Ilian headquarters. Um, I think it was at a. At uh, Edessa! That's it! It's to the northeast. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Bye. I don't want to put Clarine in harm's way. It's not a bad Ace Attorney, it's just not as good as some of the others. Oh, get wrecked. Why would you attack Bart Ray the Brave? Do 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 do. Uh oh. No, not my thief. This is this is why I surround my weaker units. Boom! Shoot a dragon in the face. No damage. <laughs> I have I have the most mature Twitch chat out there. <laughs> Healthy disagreement. Oh, we're about to break the Gantlance. Boom! 
It's been fun swimming, Worthy. Ah, Gant broke. No, don't heal up, Mr. Fighter. <laughs> the, the troubadour's like, I'll cut off her escape room. <laughs> I, I, you, you can try. <laughs> don't know what good it'll do. I also love how Roy has literally not been doing anything for the last, like, ten chapters almost. <laughs> Ever since I got Roy to max level, it's just like, why do I keep using him? Dang, Ellen is definitely going to cap her level. Oh, she capped luck and res. And magic. Wow, alright, so Ellen's next four level ups, she's probably not going to get a whole lot. <laughs> That's okay. It just means she's been doing such a good job. All right, Bart Ray, shoot her down out of the sky. Whoop-lam! Doggone it. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get Bart Ray to an s rank in bows. If only I still had I green. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just realized... You literally, unless you have a flying unit, the intended way to get to that village is you have to literally go all the way around and back. That's so dumb. Why would, why would they do that? Alright, let's kill the bow guy, because he's just being a little annoying. I sure hope there are no status stave users down here. That would be bad. Alright, we go into the, uh, no! I will not be singing that song anymore for copyright reasons, and also because it's overplayed. Tina Staff Up Astol. Very nice. How many characters in this game are in the Super Smash Bros. game? In this game, only Roy. Yes, I've seen... Yes, I was quoting Frozen, too. La la la! Go, Dragon Girl. <laughs> Kick butt. Oh, no. Not that song. Unpopular opinion, Let It Go is one of the weaker songs in Frozen 1. <laughs> Sorry, Big Bird is immune to your pathetic arrows. Oh, oh, I, I just realized that you were changing the lyrics to it. <laughs> that's very, that's clever. Oh, yes! Milady dodged an arrow, so she gets a level up. And it's a pretty good one. Nice, m'lady. Okay, is it just me? I, f I definitely think that Fire Emblem 6 is following the trend of, like... <laughs> the end of the game tends to not be that difficult. I feel like in Fire Emblem games, it's usually the beginning and the middle that are the tough parts, and then the end tends to be very, very easy. Because they just tend to throw lots of really weak units at you instead of, like, really strong units. Go for quantity over quality. Come on, Star Trek. Chucky party, you can be the star. Oh yeah! Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek! <laughs> A star is born! <laughs> My gosh, Trek. Honestly, Trek stats aren't even like that... F Actually, okay. No, 17 defense and 18 strength is pretty great. <laughs> he's not, like, super exceptional in any one area, but he's very good in pretty much every area. <laughs> Here you go. Heal up, Fa. Aw. 
We got we gotta increase the friendship of the the partially dragon girls. Oh, partially dragon girl and fully dragon girl. They BFFs. Maybe. I don't like putting Lelina out in the open, but you know what? <laughs> she has plot armor. Okay, let's just get this... Can we get this stupid troubadour out of here? Oh, yes. <laughs> Walking in a winter wonderland. That's a fast trek. Is it? Like 14 speed? I guess I don't know what Trex average is at this current level is. Maybe I got maybe I got speed blessed with Trex. It's like how like how I got basically everything blessed with my Roy. <laughs> like my Roy is fast and he hits pretty hard. I can't wait to see him after he promotes on the last chapter. Ooh no, Silver Lance on Trek. That's not good. Dang. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Trek has enough speed that he is reliably uh, doubling pretty much everything. So. That's definitely a good sign. Nice job, buddy. Wow! That is good! <laughs> hey, Xavier! Welcome! Nice to see you again. Hope you're having a fantastic night. A lawn ballista? No! My Sophia! You can't kill my Sophia! <laughs> you entered on 14 speed trek as fast trek when... Yes! <laughs> Is 14 speed on track really that much? No. How dare you? How dare you? Wow, they are being... They are getting pretty lucky with all these status state hits. Alright. Uh, oh, thank goodness. I mean, Trek has been turning out pretty good for me. Actually, no, 15 speed Trek now. That Those are some pretty impressive... Like, free res is not good. But, I mean, he's also, like, a physical unit. So. Yeah, maybe I got really blessed with Trek, but he is definitely a star. I love it. Hey, you know, there is a time and place for Armor Knights. I want- I wanted- I'll be honest, I wanted to use... Barf. But... Just, he wasn't- <laughs> He wasn't viable long term. Oh, hi. Okay. You- Okay, he can't attack. That's a Silver Lance. Hmm. Okay, so if I send Sophia over there, she is definitely dying. So, solution is, we won't send Sophia over there. Would Trek be a good crew member in Star Trek? Uh, Star Trek... Er, Trek would be Star Trek. You don't need crew members. Ooh. Dark on it! It's... Okay. I'm gonna do something a little sneaky. Okay. Sophia, you're gonna weaken this guy. And then Lance is going to park his butt on the fort to protect Sophia. So this way, the Silver Lance Paladin is not going to be able to reach. Which is worse, Little Mermaid or Frozen? Are you asking me which is technically a worse movie, or are you asking me which one I dislike more? Because... There might be a different answer for both. I personally dislike The Little Mermaid a lot more than I dislike Frozen. I actually enjoy Frozen. I don't think it's, like, the most spectacularly amazing modern Disney movie of all time. But I enjoy it. Little Mermaid I don't take very much enjoyment out of watching. As for which one is better, I think I would argue that Little Mermaid is better. Like, fr from an overall objective standpoint, I think Little Mermaid is a better movie. Because Frozen has some, um, pretty big problems when it comes to the story. Specifically, the twist villain, who just does not make any sense at all if you think about it for, like, a second. What's wrong with Little Mermaid for me? Um, 
I think Ariel is a thoroughly unlikable protagonist. And that that that's kind of a big deal. Also, Kingdom Hearts ruined the music for me forever. <laughs> Literally, you want to know how you fix Little Mermaid? Put in, like, a 20-second scene it, towards the end of the movie after they beat Ursula where Ariel and her father apologize to each other for what they did wrong. Boom! You fix the movie! Not completely, but you make it a lot more bearable. But Ariel just doesn't learn anything, doesn't take accountability for her actions, doesn't really grow at all, and she gets away with it. Um... The ringleader? Are you talking about the coachman? I mean... It, it was the it was the donkey transformation scene that scarred me, but I mean Coachman was definitely super creepy as well. Uh oh, uh, that was weird. My emulator just stopped. <laughs> I I kind of figured what you meant. I mean Coachman is definitely the most disturbing Disney villain of all time. Eat it, Chernabog. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, to this day, probably still the creepiest movie I've uh, creepiest movie and scene in a movie I've ever seen. <laughs> of course, this this was back when um, movie rating systems didn't really exist, so it's just like any movie that's out, anybody can watch. I'm pretty sure Disney would not be allowed to get away with a scene like that nowadays. Whoosh! I, f I feel like Frozen would have been a much more interesting movie, and probably a much better one, if they had actually gone through with making Elsa the villain. Like, I get where they're like, but Elsa's so cool, and like, she's got the good song, and the cool ice powers, we don't want pe we don't want her to be the villain. It's like, okay, but... It, by making the other guy the villain, like, it does not make any sense on a rewatch. No, Sophia, you're supposed to hit. <laughs> oh, I agree wholeheartedly. El Elsa's person. If Elsa did not have ice powers, nobody would like her. If Elsa. Okay, if she didn't have ice powers slash let it go, nobody would like her at all. And kind of similar to Ariel, she... Okay, no. She grows a little bit more as a person than Ariel, but not really by much. But at least Elsa's not, like, the sole main character, so it's a little more palatable. Alright. <laughs> you think you can shoot a gun? <laughs> this time you eat the spinach. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, Sophia. Watch what I can do! You know, I'll say it. I like Bambi. Like, I, my mom literally did not let me watch Bambi for a long time because it, it scarred her as a kid. She didn't want it in the house. I watched it later. I like it. it. It's a very enjoyable movie. I mean, I definitely understand why as a child it would be distressing. But, like, man, the animation is beautiful in that movie. Also, I did not realize that Bambi grows up to become a to like a super awesome like male deer protagonist. Like Bambi is really cool when he grows up. <laughs> Did I mention the animation? Mmm. Some of Disney's finest animation, I'd say. You fool. You take on Star Trek, you get bit! <laughs> bit by a lance. I should probably preserve the horse slayer. In case there's an especially annoying horse. Why are you attacking my lady? She has a killer lance! And she's basically invincible! <laughs> the thirstiest Disney princess lives underwater. The irony is not lost on me. <laughs> oh, also, here's the other thing. If you swapped... The, the sexes, like, if Ariel was a dude and Eric was a girl, everyone would think Ariel's a creep. 
Like, do doesn't even know- doesn't even know this person, and she's just like, Oh my gosh. He's so hot. I'm gonna sell my soul to the devil to be with him. Then at the end, like, Daddy, I didn't know. It's like, yes, you did! Ursula spelled out her evil plot to you, and you're like, yes, I agree. <laughs> but, yeah, well... I, I could rant about Ariel for a, a long while. Lion King was the very first movie you ever saw in theater. Not, that's a good one to see. Lion King is definitely a good movie. I think that it is a bit overrated. I do think that the middle is not... The middle is very slow. But, on the whole, very solid movie. <laughs> oh no, a troubadour. <laughs> Better blow her away. <laughs> Ah. Favorite Disney movies are Wreck-It Ralph, Leo and Stitch, Emperor's New Groove, Lion King, and Many Adventures... Oh, you got some good choices on there. Wreck-It Ralph was awesome. Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh is either my favorite... It constantly kind of flip-flops between being my favorite and my second favorite with Aladdin. Really like that one. Leo and Stitch is alright. Emperor's New Groove is hysterical. I love it. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Okay. You got a bow. But, but not for long. <laughs> I have not... I have seen Lion King 1 and a half. Have not seen Lion King 2. I'm quite certain, just based on what I've heard, that Lion King 2 is going to be a lot better than Lion King 1 and a half. <laughs> Witness the power... Woohoo! Critical hit! I have not seen Fern Gully, no. I. Yeah. I kind of. I agree, Xavier. Wreck It Ralph 1, I adore. It's such a good movie because I love video games. It, it was very well done. Wreck It Ralph 2, I enjoyed watching it when I watched it, but even while watching it, I'm like, this movie is going to age terribly. Like. Just watching it, I knew, I'm like, this is not going to have that... This is not going to be one of those Disney movies that's like, this is a timeless classic that people will watch for generations to come. It's like, no, people are going to stop watching this movie pretty quickly. <laughs> and it's a shame. It had some really funny jokes in it. Like, I was dying of laughter at the Bob Ross parody in that. And it, and what they did with, like, the ending was kind of interesting, but, eh. Def definitely a movie that I'm like, probably won't be watching it again time soon. It's three years old and it's... Is it only three years old? Oh, come on! Come on! Why do bases slow people down so much? I think Aladdin is probably, in my opinion, the best Disney movie, but Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, man, it's so good. So classic, so quotable. So charming. Why is everybody targeting Milady? They're like, oh my gosh, it's a flying unit. So she has a Delphi shield and will take no damage. But but she's a flying unit. <laughs> Does not compute. Alright. Use another torch. That's the problem when you try to make a movie that's, like, very much centered on pop culture. You might make a funny movie in the moment, but people aren't going to be watching it in the future. Okay, Sagoon, she's got a spear. Squad leader of the Alien Pegasus Knights. Oh, hey! She's a flying unit! She don't get the throne evasion bonuses! Oh, that's great. I don't think she even gets the defensive bonuses, either. Oh, she's going to be easy. There's got to be more enemies, right? Surely there's more enemies. <laughs> I f I thought Ralph too had some funny moments. Not like. Well, again, I I really I laughed a lot at the Bob Ross parody, but I guess looking back, I don't remember a whole lot of other funny moments. I also was like, how come they didn't use like Felix or Callahan at all? They were two of like the best characters in the first movie. This guy again! 
I've pondered a lot about whether I should join Burn, but I've made up my mind now. Take this ring. It brings out your inner powers. If this is another guiding ring, please grant this land with peace. Energy ring? Aw, oh, yeah! Oh man, energy ring. Who do we give it to? So many good choices. Uh, which, which is better, Finding Nemo or Finding Dory? I'd say Finding Nemo. I'll be honest, I do not like Finding Dory. As soon as I... Like, when I was... So I'm not a huge fan of Finding Nemo. It was not a movie that I wanted a sequel to, so when they announced the sequel, I'm like, oh, great. I tried to go in with an open mind, I'm like, okay, you know, as long as they don't do, like, the super-duper cliche, we gotta find Dory's parents, like, plot, then maybe it'll be cool. And guess what they did? Super cliche, we gotta find Dory's parents plot. So I went into the movie expecting it to be utter garbage. It was a lot better than I thought. But I still didn't really like it all that much. I'm so stupid. I gave a lightning tome to Chlorine. Troubadours use anima magic. I was thinking of Fire Emblem 8, where they use light magic. Whoops. <laughs> oh, darn. Ooh, that's a good question. What is my favorite and least favorite Pixar movie? My favorite Pixar movie is definitely Toy Story 1. And not only that, that is literally my favorite movie of all time, is Toy Story 1. It's fantastic. Absolutely hilarious. Very good story. Great character development. The fact that, like, it was the first 3D animated movie with C all fully CGI and it's still watchable is nothing short of astonishing. As for my least favorite, I'm gonna have to go with Good Dinosaur. Good Dinosaur is, like, the one Pixar movie that I'm like, yeah, I'm not watching. I will not watch that again. Not because, like, it was bad. I'm just like, this is very mediocre in every degree. And there's nothing from this movie that I'm like, oh, yes. I definitely need to revisit this again. <laughs> Funny, uh... I might, I may well stream Fire Emblem 8 someday. Yeah, I, I very much might. <laughs> Funny thing about A Land Before Time, uh, Mobius. When we were flying uh, to and from Florida for our vacation, I sat next to my sister Marty. She was watching Land Before Time uh, on the plane, but she wasn't... We didn't have the audio for it, so we were making up our own audio for it, and it was funny. I don't know... I, we didn't have the audio, but I already can say I absolutely hate the Triceratops. The Sundari Triceratops. <laughs> I have also seen most of Crazy Rich Asians with no audio and made up all my own, and it was great. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man... Gosh. You got the boots power. <laughs> yeah, Sarah the Sundere Triceratops. Hate her. <laughs> Haven't even heard her voice. Don't even know anything that she said. Already hate her just based on her expressions and interactions. <laughs> Wow, this was an easy... Uh, no, no, shouldn't say that. I haven't beaten the level yet. Should not say that. Wow, this boss sucks! <laughs> Let's kill her! So, you've made it for this blizzard and cold. Congratulations. But it's not over. You will die. Right here, right now. No, I won't. You can't hurt Star Trek. <laughs> I know. As soon as I say, wow, this was super easy, boom, like, watch, there's gonna be like 800 ambush spawns. Alright, Deke, did you finish the job, maybe? Bye, Saigon. Well, well, so I'm the one to die. But maybe I was already dead. 
a long time ago. Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's a sad death quote. Wow. That's why you don't sell your soul to the devil, so you can get with <laughs> the boy of your dreams who you don't even know. Right, Ariel? I mean, what? <laughs> oh, there's still at least... Oh, I, th I think there's one enemy left, and I think it's the guy in the ballista over here. <laughs> That's funny, Garf! Alright, Roy, all you gotta do is go up to the throne, and we can build up some supports. Okay. Star Trek and Milady. Poor Bart Ray. He don't have any support partners. I think Nime and Sophia can support as well. So we'll build up them. I think Astol can actually support Lelina as well. So this should be good. Oh, look! Ambush spawn! Don't know who the ambush spawn is, but... There's one there. Alright, well, uh... If that's the case... <laughs> let's move our characters up a bit, shall we? Bart Ray, you can stay behind to deal with the threat. <laughs> I just don't want Nime all the way in the back, because uh, I don't trust her to be able to get the job done. I don't know who who appeared, but uh, it's probably not going to be someone particularly nice. Interesting choices. Yeah, Monsters, Inc. is definitely in my, I think, top two, maybe. It might be my second favorite. Inside Out is also really good. Bugs Life I enjoy, but I don't think it's a particularly great movie. Oh, she can support Sophia! Alright, last last support already. Sophia? Yes. Um. Yes. Fa was scared that you would grow up and not want to play with her anymore. Fa always wants to be with you. Fa wants to play hide and seek and tag and lots of other fun games. Fa, don't worry. I'll always be your friend. I'll always be with you. Alright? Really? Yay! Yes. We'll always be together. No, you won't. She gonna, she gonna live a lot long... You're gonna live a lot longer than her, uh, Sophia. I get that you're trying to make her feel better, but don't... Don't lie! Don't lie! Thoughts on Monsters University? I... I like Monsters University. It's definitely nowhere near to the same quality as Monsters, Inc. But I enjoy it. It's very funny. I like all the call forwards to Monsters, Inc. Yeah, it's kind of the stereotypical college movie, but I also think it does it the best. The fact that I can't see the enemies coming or what they are worries me somewhat. Things I do to get to give Star Trek a friend. That's a lot of enemy spawning. Oh, it's just brigands. <laughs> what is that all? <laughs> oh, this is easy EXP for Lance the Pants. What's my favorite Land Before Time sequel? Well, seeing as how I haven't even seen the first one, I haven't seen any of the sequels. <laughs> so I, I can't say. My favorite Land Before Time sequel is definitely Toy Story 2. Just a bunch of brigands, wow. I was getting worried for nothing. I guess that makes sense, because there are two villages on this course. I can't tell if I'm just, like... Because these last few levels have been so... easy... Oh, nice 2% crit. I can't tell if it's just, like, the end game levels are pretty easy, if I'm super overpowered, or if I'm actually, like, better at this game than I thought. And I can just kind of anticipate some of the dumb crap I can throw your way. <laughs> How about the Land Before Time, the search for Christopher Robin? That's a good one.
You ain't hitting Barn Ray the Brave. Oh, wait! I know exactly what I should be doing. I should be practicing my light magic. And I, I can even use a lightning spell instead of a divine. <laughs> Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. Yeah, the best Land Before Time sequel. <laughs> oh, it's laughable, the amount of EXP. And because we have Bart Ray equipped with a bow, they, they should just keep going for Bart Ray. <laughs> you can't hit Bart Ray. He knows how to move his arm out of the way. It's all it takes. No, don't attack Deke. <laughs> Bad bandit. <laughs> I will do anything to level up Ellen's light magic rank. <laughs> I want to use that Ariola. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> okay, wow. Fa and Elfin apparently support up really slowly. Oh no! They hit Bart Ray the Brave in the face of a battle axe, and he shrugs it off like it's nothing. No, stop attacking my Deke. I don't want him to break his iron blade. That's the iron blade he came with. I want that to be intact at the end of the game. <laughs> so we can go home with the same sword he started with. How many uses does it have left? Three. Okay. Uh, here, equip that. Wow, Deke, all of your stuff's about to break. <laughs> We're gonna break the Tina staff pretty soon. I can't wait to get George's axe. How come that guy has better accuracy now? I guess it's a different guy. Maybe he got maybe he rolled higher skill. For once I'm actually grateful light magic is slightly weaker than other magic types, because it means I can get him more hits, which means more rank building. Come on. Okay, she's approaching A rank. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's still one more! <laughs> I should probably... Well, actually, how many? I need to check how many Angelic Robes I have left. If I have at least a couple to spare, I might give one to Ellen. Just Actually, at this point, 34 HP on, like, a healing unit. It's not bad. Ah, here we go. Another Lolina support. Hello, Ashtor? His name is Ast... What the... This game just can't even decide on what his name is. Hello, Ashtor. <laughs> That's not my name. Well, if it isn't Lady Valina, you look as beautiful as ever. Dude, I'm marrying Roy. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> In fact, you're so beautiful that you're making my wrinkles fade away. See? Ashtor, you don't change, do you? My father was saying that you'd be doing a lot better than you already are if you were more serious. Well, well, I guess I can't argue with that, m'lady. Where did you first meet my father? He never told me anything. Well, it ain't really ain't a meeting you'd go around telling people about. I was a measly thief back then, and so I decided to creep into Castle Ostia to swipe some treasure, see? Really? Yeah. What happened? Well, m'lady? Whoops, I really shouldn't be wasting precious time like here like this. Forgive me, m'lady, but I'll continue the story some other time. Oh, what a shame. Alright, well, she, she's not married yet, but she's at the A support with Roy, so you need, you need to back off a bit. Uh, 
All right, we'll wait for some more turns. Some of these supports I've heard take like sometimes 120 turns to build. Maybe even more. This is just ridiculous. Like, why would you put that mechanic in the game? Nothing. Still? Okay. The fact that we haven't even gotten the first Fa and Elfin support is ridiculous. Like, I've had them next to each other for kind of a lot. Fa and Sophia are already at A support, and I've been trying for, like, the Elfin Fa support for basically just as long. This is ridiculous. I'm just doing this to get the extra stuff. It's not even, like, required for the game. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Wow. All right. It's turn 37. We're conquering the throne. Merlinus, I need you to send this to letter to Bishop Yodel in Etruria. A letter? May I ask what it says? It's the story we heard from Nime about the dragon. Oh? What did you discuss with her about the dragon? I'll get... It'll get long if I tell you. I haven't sealed the letter yet, so you can look through it if you want. Alright, let me see. Is something wrong, Princess Guinevere? I've come to speak about my brother. Is it alright? Yes. I wanted you to know before we enter Burn about the tragedies that have that have that have occurred. They they have typos like that a lot. You asked earlier if my brother murdered the former king. Yes. In short, it is true. Ooh, are we gonna get Zephiel's full backstory now? Then King Zephiel indeed killed his own father to seize the throne. No! No? He didn't kill his father to get the throne? No. Our father was the first one who tried to kill Zephiel. That is true! We saved his life in Fire Emblem 7. What?! Then King Zephiel... He couldn't bear the abuse he was taking from our father. And so he... What? Why did... The dragons are indeed mysterious species- Merlinus, get your butt out of here! Hmm? What's the matter? No, it is nothing. Perhaps later. Did I appear at a bad time? Yes. No, it's okay. Did you send the letter? Yes, I read through it and then sealed it and had it sent. Oh. Alright, thanks. Why did the former king try to murder his own son? Because former king was a huge crud butt who's like, My son is talented and I suck. I hate him for it. I know. I'll kill him. Alright, we're off to chapter 20, The Liberation of Ilya. After defeating Saigoon... Roy headed for Edessa, located in the northeast of Ilya. Castle Edessa, owned by Zealot. Oh yeah, we have Zealot! Leader of the Ilian Mercenary Knights, once served as headquarters of the Pegasus Knight teams as well. However, with Zealot gone, Burn saw his chance and attacked the castle, forcing the Mercenary and Pegasus Knights into submission. Castle Edessa was Murdoch's headquarters. Are we gonna fight Murdoch? I'm scared about that, but since Murdoch had returned to Burn, never mind! Rortz was put in charge. Oh, this guy. I can't even remember the voice I gave him. <laughs> Alarmed by the Aturian army speed in advancing to Edessa, Rortz hurriedly contacted the various Ilian knight groups, asking them for aid. However, their replies were not promising. They're like, you suck! Just do it yourself. Duh! <laughs> I can't do it myself! Oh, hey! We got a, a Falco knight with a bunch of villagers down there. We, I think we could do another chapter. He reminds you of Count Dooku. I don't think he's nearly as cool. This guy's kind of a coward. Alright, let's see what our enemy is. Sword Reaver, Horse Slayer, watch out for him. You know, a former squad leader of the Ilium Pegasus Knights, Zealot's wife. Well, gee, I bet we have to talk to her with Zealot to uh, recruit her. Okay, pre promoted Falcon Knight. Um, those are not very good stats. She's level 9. I mean, 16 speed isn't bad. 12 res isn't bad, but, like, it's nothing really special. Yeah, I, I ain't doing no, no Christopher Lee voice. That's that's outside of my ability. Got some steel sword baboons. 
Steel Bow and just a regular Ballista. Sword Reaver. Yeah, yay. Lance Reaver. Killing Edge. Axe Reaver. Flux and Asleep. I hate status staves. Longbow. Okay, we got chests here. Killer Bow. Horse Slayer. We got a lot of Slayer weapons. Rorts has a red gem to steal and a spear. Former advisor to the Aturian Court. Sounds like I'll be bringing Astol again. Oh, he, he sucks! 20 defense ain't that good, buddy. If you're a general. Oh, no! Not a berserk. Okay. Oh, no! That's a killer ballista! Why would you do this? Oh, wait. <laughs> I have Melody. <laughs> what am I? Melody, what am I worried about? Okay. You must choose, Sheriff Woody. Who will you pick? Okay. Uh, do I bring Thane? I hate all these ballistas. Okay, well, I have to bring Zealot. I think that's that kind of just a requirement. I don't think I need Clarine. Yeah, so I think I have to bring Zealot. I will not be using Nime anymore. Hey, Nime. Thanks for all the free stuff. I love how I just completely ditched a lot. <laughs> hey, I'm Percival. Percival, I am so glad you're here. Guess what? You're giving literally all of your equipment to Zealot. Oh. Zealot can't use the silver sword. That's okay. You can take, I uh... No, we don't have a javelin. Okay. Fine. <laughs> here, Astle, uh... Here, take the owl from Owl's toy sword. <laughs> oh, and we're also going to need to get you a better lockpick. Yes, that's better. I also think, before I forget... <laughs> Fa, you're going to take the, the member card and the silver card. Because I I know you won't, won't die to make me lose those. Okay, stat boosting items. We have Secret Book, Goddess Icon, two Angelic Robes, and an Energy Rain. We also have an Ice Crest, a Hero's Crest, and an Orion's Bolt. At this point in the game, I think we're going to sell those for some cash. Alright. So, Skill, Luck, Strength, and HP. Who needs the skill? Melina probably needs the skill. Or Sophia. Actually, probably Sophia. Alright, who needs the strength? Not Lelina. Oh, oh, duh! Lance the Pants needs the strength. Not even a contest. Alright, Sophia. You're gonna take the secret book. Here. I'll just... <laughs> I'll just load the rest onto Elfin and he can dish it out as he desires. I think that's a good choice. Oh man, am I really bringing three horses to this round? You know, that's actually acceptable, I think. I guess again, I don't want to take Thaney because she can get shot down by them, Ballista. <laughs> Douglas with the Slim Lance. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, this... Oh, hang on. I think this should probably be good. Uh, let's get another weapon from the lady. How about a Silver Lance? Seems like a good plan. Alright, cool. Yeah, let's try this. Let's do it. Chapter 20, The Liberation of Ilya. Hopefully this chapter don't take super long. Oh boy, this guy. Well, have we got enough troops? Well, uh, we are requesting aid from Ilya's knights, but all of them except those that have direct orders from Lord Murdoch are hesitant to help us. How could this happen? Ah, oh, we'd captured Zealot's wife and his family! How about Zealot's group? Have they responded? No, they've been traveling all over the continent as mercenary knights, so we do not know their exact location. 
Ever since Sagoon's group was defeated, all of Ilya's militia have been reluctant to attack the Etrurian army. Blast! Everyone! Everyone is such a coward! They would have me, advisor to the Etrurian court, die in a place like this! Yeah. <coughs> Are you alright? Here, take my shawl. N no Then you would be cold. It's alright. I'm used to the cold. It's far better than flying through the blizzards on a pegasus. Thank you. <coughs> Lady Yuno, what will become of us? I don't know. But we must have hope. Perhaps the enemy might leave, or perhaps Zealot might return. We must have hope. Where is Lord Zealot now? In his last letter, he said he would be joining the Lycia Alliance army. But after that... Well, he could be closer than we think he is. She's pretty. I hope you're right. We fight again today. Yes. When we take this castle, we can use it as a base to launch attacks on Burn. Yes. Princess, may I ask the reason why Burn's former king tried to murder King Zephiel? Zephiel and I have different mothers, so I am in actuality his half-sister. I heard that Zephiel's mother was the Etrurian princess. Yes. It was an arranged marriage to strengthen the tie- the- the tie- no, it's just the tie between Burn and Etruria. However, our father already had a woman he loved at that time. That kind of sucks. She is my mother. The marriage between our father and Zephiel's mother was forced. Therefore, our father didn't love Zephiel's mother, and so always fought badly of Zephiel. Then is that why the former king and Zephiel had a bad relationship? No. Even then, Zephiel was always trying his best to gain our father's affection. He excelled in his studies and military training and was always trying hard. He grew to become a proud heir to Burn's throne. Then why did the king try to... Master Roy, we're ready for the attack! Doggone it, Merlinus! All right, I'll be there in a minute! Princess Guinevere... I'm sorry, but... No, it's alright. Please be careful. Alright! Back to the future! Alright. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. Okay. I forgot to check all of these guys. Oh, no! This is bad! Okay. We let the enemy come to us. Because, uh, I don't want to have to deal with physical attackers and magical units all at the same time. Hi, Zealot. It's been a while since I've brought you over, now hasn't it? Okay, Star Trek. No! Not st Okay, no. We can put Star Trek over there. You just can't put him in range of the Horse Slayer. There are too many Slayer weapons on this level. Can bring up the rear. Dog, done it! I didn't give Deke any new equipment. All of his stuff is about to break. Okay, you guys all have swords, right? Watch out for Bart Ray. All right. This is actually a kind of scary map. This level, we got some tough enemies all in some clusters. All right, you can go down here and equip that energy rain. go. Wait a second. Oh, I probably should have given that to Lelina instead. Whoops. Oh, well. Here, you hang out next to Elfin and near Sophia so she can get that support bonus. Dane, I thought Zella was pretty good. But he's definitely fallen off considerably. I also can take advantage of the warp staff. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, do you see what I see? There is an arena on this level that I did not notice. Which means we can train up Ellen's light magic rank! I'm gonna have to give her an inch all grow before I'm comfortable putting her in the arena. 
Actually, even then, I still might not be comfortable putting her in the arena, but... Oh, oh, the places will go. Doggone it, Bart Ray, you're just not quite powerful enough to finish them. <laughs> Alright, Sword Raver Man it will be done with. Oh man, what a boss trek is! <laughs> Excellent job, Star Trek. You fool. Boom! Shaka Laka. Get out of here. I actually am I am not comfortable putting Ellen in the arena. Uh-oh. See, this is why I didn't move Sophia any farther closer. Because if I did, she might die. This is also why I put Fa in her support range. To give her maybe better survivability. Oh, Highlight Brand. That's actually kind of a scary weapon in this. You're putting Zealot to sleep? He's like, my wife is in there, I must have... <sighs> oh, what a surprise, it hit Zealot. <laughs> no! You can't put all my... <laughs> no! You can't put my units to sleep! Haha, <laughs> too late. <laughs> this is why... I... Oh, actually, I only have one restore staff, but I also have a bard, so I really have two. Did you miss anything? Uh... Oh, crud, no! I only have free uses of my Restore Staff, and I want to save some for that stupid Berserk guy. Uh-oh. I mean, we're on the next chapter. There's a lot of tough units. Okay. I gotta pray, guys. Alright, first things first, Sophia needs a heal. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll leave Astol asleep for the time being. He's not really gonna do anything until we clear out the enemies anyway, so that's okay. Shoot! I forgot that, um, Clarine had my other restore staff. That's actually a little bad. Okay, Bart Ray, you can continue holding down the fort over here. Okay, Bart Ray, like, you gotta hit, buddy. Do we use Roy? No, I don't want to use Roy. Okay. Let's clear out the top area first. I don't like that guy with that uh, light brand. Yuck. That is disgusting. Okay. Let's get rid of the Merc. Yep, snow place like home. Indeed. Okay, this level, this level is actually going to make me use strategy. That's right. Light Brand has magic triangle advantage. Does the Light Brand always just do a minimum of 10 damage? Because it should not be damaging Ellen at all. Alright, Fa. We need your help. Oh, yeah! A two! The Sneeze of Death. Actually... Wow, maybe we'll cap Fa's level before her Divine Stone breaks. Oh yeah, how many uses does her Divine... Okay, we still have over half the uses left. That's good. No, oh, Lance is just not powerful enough. Okay. 
right, I really want to take out those druids, if at all possible. I'm not sure if it will be, but it would be nice if I could. How do we fare against the druids? Okay, that's a lot of damage. I don't like that. All right, Star Trek. Need I need your help here. I, we also have Deke with Durandel. I think we'll be taking advantage of that, because we might be able to one-shot these druids with Durandel. Really hope so. Oh yeah, we can. can actually, we might... Okay. There's the time and place for Durandel, and this is it! <laughs> Kaboom! Ah, yes, Durandel! Thank goodness. And now, I do declare... Okay. I think at this point we're going to use Mal Elfin on Milady, and I really hope Milady can one-shot this druid. Mm. That's unfortunate. Uh, scariest scene in this a Disney movie is that aforementioned Pinocchio scene. No question. Oh, uh, this is this is annoying. Okay. Normally, mm, oh shoot, they're also oh crud. What's your chance of critting? Forty-four. I think I have to bank on a 44% chance to crit here. Please crit. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Because there are... The, if I didn't kill that guy, Deke, I think, would have died. Because there were, like, three magic units who could have all uh, killed him. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yay! And now Sophia can finish off this guy. Let's not split up the army if we don't have to. Nice job, Sophia. Uh-oh. Dude, Astol can dodge attacks in his sleep. Have we lost anybody this chapter? No, we have not. But that might change! Oh, never mind. Astol's very good at sleep dodging. We also might end up losing somebody if I decide to brave the arena. <laughs> Ouch! That's not nice. I, I send you not to heaven because of that. Oh, come on! I've had enough of that sleep staff. Ouch. I don't like all of these long range weapons and, uh, <laughs> and status tome, or status staves. That's bad. All right. I'll try to take out the purge guy. Oh, it's a perfect kill if Lance can keep hitting. Yes! Get rid of that purge guy. He is super annoying. Get him out of here. And once again, we run into the problem of... <laughs> I, don't, I did not bring enough restore staff uses. That was my own fault. We also really need... Okay. It's the Berserk guy who we... Oh, no. Okay. Ellen, you need to be down here. I need Ellen down here, so that way she can restore 
Lance when he inevitably gets berserked. Also, gotta keep people out of range of the Killer Ballista. Alright. I think we'll have Ellen heal up Lilina, because she is definitely low on HP. Which is the better, Nicktoons, Spongebob, Squarepants, or the Loud House? I have not seen the Loud House, so I will have to go with Spongebob. There have been a couple of episodes of Spongebob I've seen that have been pretty funny. And I do believe we need the dragons to take out these guys. Dane, Fa! Achoo! <laughs> Fa's critical hit animation is nothing to sneeze at. <laughs> What's my favorite Nickelodeon show? Definitely Blue's Clues. The original Blue's Clues. None of this reboot nonsense. Uh. Alright. Now we've got the guys coming this way. Okay, you still have another freaking use of your sleep staff. I want to take you out. <laughs> oh, hey! I think Trek is a pretty good... Ooh, actually, wait. Hang on. If I'm there... One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. Not enough movement. Alright, Trek. Uh, what, do the people down here have anything terrifying? Lance Reaver killing edge is kind of terrifying. Okay, you got every Re Reaver weapon. Sure, why not? Alright, well then we'll just go with the most accurate weapon we have. Ooh, don't like that. 23 damage. It's possible that you are. Or that the only people in Twitch chat are lurking. Oh, thank you, Trek. And that's fine. People are allowed to lurk. But I, I do I do like having a... I like having a s small but active Twitch chat. Wow, Trek has been getting good level ups. Trek is level 6 with Paladin with 16 speed! I'm, that's nuts. That's, that's actually nuts. Is it time for Durandel again? Yeah, I don't want to take damage from this doofus. Oh, blam! Oh, Durandel, yes. I probably should have given Bart Ray arm ads, now that he's able to use it. It would just be a fun thing to do, although he is sleeping it off right now, so... Alright, let's go over there and give Trek some support. Oh, no! You can't go for my main lord! How dare you! This is this is a nasty level right here. Maybe I'll tr maybe I'll train Lance and or Trek in the arena. If I train Trek in the arena, I'm definitely gonna barrier him up beforehand. If I have a barrier staff with me, I think Ellen has a barrier staff with at least a few uses left. Oh no, you managed to hit Star Trek. That's okay, though, because he's going to kill you in return! <laughs> oh, that, wow, this is crazy. Ooh, sword weapon, weapon revel. Sword weapon revel increased. Is he a... Oh, he's in... A B rank, it's... Oh, Trek, you're not S rank in anything? Is Lance S rank in Lance's? Okay, he is good. I am glad to hear it. Boo boo. Would I consider a no deaths run of Mario Sunshine? Uh, no. I. Honestly, you'll be lucky if I even play Mario Sunshine on my channel, because that's my least favorite 3D Mario game. It's just so frustrating to play. Uh, do I have a barrier staff? No, I don't. Oh, bother. <laughs> Here, Fog, go see what's at the shop. Uh, 
Aw, oh, darn it, I should've healed. I am a dumb, stupid face. Oh, you've got a killing edge, do you? Me, 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 me. Mario Sunshine... Again, it just has so many... So many shines in it that are just so frustrating to get. Like, literally everything related to the blue coins. Okay, good. We were able to weaken it. Please kill. Thank you. Get get Killing Edge Iliad Mercenary out of here. Don't want to do that. Is Galaxy better than Sunshine? I certainly would say so. I, I really like Galaxy. He's got two shots left. Nobody here has a long range weapon, do they? Cool. What? That's not fair! Mommy! <laughs> Dag nab it. How much longer are you gonna sleep for? A while. Fun. Hey, Roy. You got nothing better to do. Start breaking this wall. Also, how come this guy hasn't berserked us yet? Oh, hey, this is perfect to use our last hand axe on. Oh no, you hit the lady for two damage. I oh, my Marty would love to see me do that as well, because Galaxy is her favorite game. I, I, you know, I would be down to play Galaxy again. It's a super fun one. Again, I have so I have this long list of games that I want to stream, but due to how I only stream twice a week, and I do want to keep it that way, I want to make sure I have other time in my life to do other things. Yeah, it's just, you know, so many games to stream such a little time. Aw, thank you, R.S. You're, you're very sweet. <laughs> you're, you're the realest of them. <laughs> wow, Trek, you missed an 86 again. I think most of the worst of this level is over with, though. Oh, I cannot... <laughs> I, I am... I'm not even gonna... Hang on. So it looks like Berserk Man don't move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I cannot let Ellen get berserked, because if she gets berserked, nobody will be able to heal her. I wonder if I could send Fa to the arena. That would be hilarious, but I'm pretty sure you can't. Alright, come on. Yes! Excellent, Smithers! <laughs> Alright, no speed again, but... Am I gonna have to redo the chapter again if somebody dies? It depends on who dies. I need Zealot alive. Zealot is not allowed to die, because I actually need... According to this uh, guide, if I want the side quest, then I need to keep Zealot and Yuno alive for the entire level. But if it's, if it's somebody like... Uh, I mean, like... I don't want any of my characters to die at this point, so, like, if Zealot, Yuno, Roy, Fa, or Lelina die, I will reset. If it's anybody... And I suppose if if Deke dies, I also have to reset, because he has Durandel, and I can't lose Durandel. But if anybody else dies, I think... I think I just continue. It's gonna really suck if some of these characters die, though. There you go, m'lady. 
All right, now the question is... All right, I'm gonna try to... Oh, wow, that's 71 hit rate now. I wonder what the occasion is. Nice one, Sophia. Oh, no, 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 I don't... I don't want a repeat of that either, but here's the theme. It could happen. And if it does, I'm just gonna have to roll off the punches. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna move him here, so that way Sophia will be able to heal him on the next turn. With all these chests, I'm wondering if uh, Calf is going to show up here. Okay, Lance is in range of the Killer Ballista. That could have been real bad. If anybody's getting in range of that Killer Ballista, it's going to be Milady or it's going to be Trek. Because they have enough defense and HP so that if they do get crit, it's not going to be the end of the world. That's a Killer Bow! Well, it's a good thing Lance didn't get targeted by both of them and crit by both of them. Oh, hey, here's the Berserk Staff. Oh, great, 100% chance to hit. Oh, hey, that's gonna actually really screw things up. You have a D rank in staves. What is the Restore Staff? C rank in staves, of course it is. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Gonna have to use... Okay, hang on. Okay, sweet. Okay, okay. This should still work, then. Actually, no, wait, what, what am I doing? I can rest... I have Kanto. Thanks, Serenity Suds. Okay, Zealot... And Astol are good now. Wonderful. Alright, Fa, what's in this shop? A lot of items, and I don't think I really need any of them. How about at the armory? That's a lot of weapons. I love. Okay, alright, alright, I can get behind this. I'm gonna buy a silver sword. And a steel sword. None of the blades. Buy a silver lancer, too. No javelins, though, and that is annoying. That should be it. I will probably be joining in for Mario Kart on Saturday. I've been I've missed uh, attending those. Who will I be using? I'll probably be using a mixture. I usually do. I shake it up a lot. <laughs> you will probably be seeing the return of Standio, aka Mario in the most standard of all builds. That's an ongoing joke we have for, uh, <laughs> for the game. It's funny. Oh, wait. <laughs> Remember the whole reason of moving him in range. Because he needs a healing. Now, at, th at this point, if any of my characters die, it's going to be bad. All right. Why do none of these armories seem to sell javelins anymore? It's rather frustrating, because uh, javelins are pretty good. And we'll heal again. I could do another tier list episode for my 26th birthday special. I could. Rank every R for episode. Well, I haven't seen all of the R for episodes. I could rank, like, the first couple of seasons. Alright, 
Alright, maybe... Oh, wait, no! Oh, no! That's in range! Killer Ballista has no crit rate against Roy. How is that possible? Ugh! Hate that 1% crit rate! I hate it! Oh, dear lord, I hate it! Oh, Bart Ray woke up. I could send Bart Ray to the arena. That's very much in character for him. Yuck, 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 yuck! Get out of there! <laughs> I remember when I was 26. When I turn 26, I will no longer be at peak physical health. It's all downhill from there on out. Unless, of course, I actually decide to get serious about exercise, in which case, no, it actually can very much go uphill from where I'm at now. <laughs> what is this, an interrogation? If people want to lurk, let them lurk. Let them lurk, let them lurk, let them lurk. Okay. Even if Roy gets hit by both of those ballistas, he's fine. So, I say we let him get hit by both of those ballistas. Why did that guy have no crit rate against Roy? Is it... I wonder... Is it because of the support range? Is it because, like, they can't crit the Lord? I don't know, but th th there was a 0% crit rating, which really surprised me. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody gets EXP. Yeah, that's so weird. Why does the Killer Ballista, which is supposed to have a high crit rate, have zero crit rate against Roy? I don't know. But what I do know is he's getting a nice heal from his girlfriend. Oh, sweet. He's just in range, too. Unlock the door. Yep, here we go. You know. Zealot. Are you alright? You're not hurt? They didn't do anything terrible to you. Oh, Zealot, I am no child. I am the ex-captain of the Pegasus Knight fleet, you know. That's true, but... It's all- I'm alright. I'm not hurt or anything. Good. Why are you in the Etrurian army? I thought you were with the Lisi Alliance. Well, it's a long story. Anyways, this is the Etrurian army only by name. It is actually made up of troops from the Lisi Alliance army. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I couldn't be at the castle when I was needed the most. There's no point in dwelling on the past. But you had to go out and fight. Oh? Don't you like my fleet captain outfit? Of course, but... Then there's no problem. You'll be seeing a lot more of it from now on. What do you mean? Yes. I will fight alongside you as well. No! No, no, no! You retired long ago! So just leave the fighting to us. Even after I retired, I had to fight anyway. Sell it. There is no safe place in the world anymore. Well... So I will fight. So I can help bring a time of peace all the more quickly. That was nice. And here's Yuno. She has no weapon, and only an E rank in swords. Great. I probably will never use her. But it's good to have her anyways. How many Fire Emblem games have I played? Um, so I'm playing six right now. I've played seven, eight, Awakening, Free Houses, and a tiny bit of Path of Radiance. And that is it. Alright, nice job, everybody. Alright. Mm, the problem with Trek in the arena is if he goes up against, like, one Valkyrie, he's dead. Because he'll probably get doubled, and they will probably one round. Like, he'll be amazing against everything else, but... Uh. Okay, I wanna, I wanna see if Fa can go to the arena. <laughs> Why do I come to the arena? Alright, 
You have two shots left. You have... Z oh, you've got zero shots left. Well, oh, hunky dory. <laughs> cool. So, Roy, you can stay there. Light magic rank! Get rid of that killer mo maniac. Wow, barely any EXP, even for a promoted unit kill. Okay, gotta get Ellen out of there. Beautiful. Okay, I also gotta keep Yuno out of range of the Ballistae as well. Do, 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 do. You guys aren't going to run right to the danger zone, are you? What are the chances of me or Shaggy streaming Super Smash Bros? I... I would not be opposed to streaming Super Smash Bros. Shaggy used to stream Smash Bros very regularly and then, um... Uh, stopped. And I highly doubt he's ever going back. <laughs> he had... he had an experience. <laughs> Alright. I want to keep Astle there until the Ballista runs out of bullets. Should be fine. In the meantime, uh, Lolina. Sophia needs a heal. I think I will send Star Trek over to the arena. He has enough HP that I think even if he goes up against, like, a Valkyrie, he should survive. 40 free HP. With 16 speed. It's gonna take a lot of speed to double him. They're gonna need to be able to do 22 damage. Actually, no, more than that. They're gonna need to be able to do 25 damage per attack and double in order to kill him. So, I don't think he's going to die. Although, he doesn't have any support bonuses, so that is slightly worrisome. What will Mark Brown do now that Arthur is over? Hopefully retire and have a great rest of his life. He's earned it. Ouch. There we go. Last killer ballista has been used. Wonderful. Oh man, Ellen, your men's staff is almost used up. Oh boy, another level up for Ellen. Level 17 now. Oh hey, she got speed! Oh, that's so nice. Alright, now, let, now let's rob the place blind. Oh, we gotta watch out for uh, this guy, though. Okay. So minus two. Uh-oh. Astol is officially in his range. Let's put Lance in his range as well. Uh oh. Sure. I need to put her there so that no matter who gets berserk, she'll be in range to be able to use the rescue staff. How come that we can't cross the frozen waters in this one? In this level, okay. Welcome to the arena. Would you like to wager six sixty? Okay, this. Ah, this should be fine. Oh, and Shrek even doubles this guy. Blam! Nice job, Trek. Nice level up. Is the Pikmin 2 stream on Saturday going to be rage-inducing? Oh, almost certainly. We're at the point where every Pikmin 2 stream will probably be rage-inducing. Uh, we're not going to get stupid reinforcement ambush spawns up here, are we? We better not. That would be really stupid. Better give backup just in case.
La la la! We probably need a second healer down here because uh, somebody's heal staff is getting used up pretty quickly. Alright, Zealot, I just need you and Yuno to survive the level, and that's literally it. How did I know you were gonna be showing up here? Brr! I knew Ilya was cold, but I didn't think it would be this cold! And there's just snow everywhere, wherever you look! It's so pretty! Whoops, I don't have time to contemplate. Gotta get the treasure! And so do those thieves, apparently. Bum bum bum! Bum bum! This is why you save that restore staff. Is she gonna get the treasure before I do? Uh, I think I can recruit her now, if I talk to her with Roy, so... Roy's just gonna hang out down here, she's gonna open probably this door, then this door, we can talk to her, and then we can have her loot the treasure for us. That's at least m what I am planning. Speaking of loot the treasure... Ooh! The Wodeo, or Wodao. Myrmidon and Swordmaster use only. That is going to be going to Rutger, because he's literally the only person who can use it at this point. I would love to send Fa to the arena, but I don't think it's going to happen. Welcome to the arena, 660. Uh! Why do I come to the arena? That I forgot about that possibility. Okay, no, we're not doing we're not doing this anymore. Nope. All we need is one unlucky roll, and then he dies. Okay, no, we're, we're, we're not doing that anymore. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Not risking that. Oh, look! Ambush spawns! How did I just know? That's rude. You can't do that at the arena. Well, Milady gets some sword yet some sword rank. Do 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 do. Yeah, if if you go up against the berserker and the berserker gets a crit, you're dead. Forgot about that. Yeah, that's that could have gone really badly. I don't want to lose Star Trek. Mm -hmm. What do I like to do in the spring? You mean like... Thank goodness Elfin's down here. Uh, so in, in Michigan, we only really get about one week of spring out of the year. So there's not much to do. It's also very, just very marshy, very cold. I mean, if it's actually nice out, I like to go outside and, like, just take walks, but that rarely happens. That's my last restore use, so there better not be any more nonsense to deal with. Okay. If my estimate is correct, Calf is gonna go up this way and unlock here. I'll even move away, so she looks like, it looks like she has a path to the treasure. All oh, those are going straight to Sophia. Man, we've gotten a lot of speed wins this game. Get rid of Mr. Horselayer, man. Ooh. Take that. 
Pretty much everybody in Michigan likes to go camping. I am not one of them. Camping is a drag. How do I feel about International Women's Month? Is that even a thing? That seems like one of those make-believe holiday things. Where it's like, oh, guys, it's like National Donut Day. It's like, who decided that? It's not a real holiday. Like, I don't know. It's kind of getting... Cr Some of the stuff is kind of getting crazy. Where it's like, we, we got like one day out of the year to like honor fathers. One day out of the year to honor mothers. So, yeah, that makes sense. Why, why do women need a whole month? I don't know. I'm also just naturally jaded to a lot of this stuff. Like, I, f I feel like it's kind of an effort where, like, oh, we want we want to make every day special, you know? Like, something something to look forward to every day, or, like, something cool to do. Like, I, I get the idea, it just... For me, it seems... weird. Alright, you got a lockpick. Ooh, actually, I kind of want to steal the lockpick. That could actually be kind of nice, because lockpicks can sell for a decent amount. But, eh, I don't know. I don't think it's worth getting Astol all the way over there. Alright. Can we recruit you? Oh, you're... Hmm? You again? These days, you always appear to screw up my plans. Do you have something against me? No, I just wanted to apologize. Excuse me? The last time we met, I said some pretty harsh things. Like, calling you a villain when I didn't know the things you had gone through? Oh, that? It's okay, it's not really bothering me. But I still think what you're doing isn't right. You've really got nerve to say that, don't you? So would you give me a chance? A chance? Once this war is over, I'll promise to rebuild the villages that were damaged because of it. I'll be sure to make good use of the taxes that they pay. So until then, I'd like you to stop stealing. How long would that be? When this war is over... I can't exactly say when. And you expect me to wait patiently until then? Yes. Would that be okay? Why? Why do you tell me this? Why do you try so hard to help someone like me? You should just leave a burglar like me alone. Without you, we wouldn't have been able to escape Wagner's castle. Though you probably weren't trying to help us, you did, and you saved our lives. We can't just leave our benefactor alone. Well, well, at the rate you're going, I guess you'll be getting in my way no matter where I go. As long as you appear in our path. Alright, you win. I'll stop coming to battlefields to steal. Really? Thanks for understanding. But you have to let me go along with you. What? Why? Actions speak louder than words. I have to see whether you're going to be true to your words or not. Alright. There, we finally got her. Calf. Took us, like, basically the entire game. But she here she is. It's Calf! She sucks! Look at those stats. She's awful. But we can still use her to loot treasure. Ooh, a perch staff. Or perch staff. Perched home. Cool. La, 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 la. We got a longbow. Oh my gosh, a longbow. We don't believe it! Oh man. Oh shoot, did I just send that to storage? I did. Crud. Bart Ray might have been able to snipe that guy down. Alright, I don't think it's worth stealing that guy's lockpick for a chunk of change. <laughs> Fa wants to level up! Uh, 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 achoo! <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay, Fa's officially one of my favorite mana keats. I do wish Dragonstone had a couple more uses than just 30. Her, her Divine Stone is already halfway used. I'm assuming we don't get another one, and I'm assuming we can't use the Hamurn Staff to repair it. Oh, I, won I wonder if the enemy fighters are going to be going to the arena. That would be funny if they could.
Who would have thought that Sophia could be good if you just pump her full of stat boosters? Actually, I've, I've given her, I think, an Angelic Robe and a Secret Book, and then one's... Actually, did I even give her a Speed Win? I'm not even sure if I did. Do I like skiing or snowboarding? I haven't tried either. I would... Actually, I've done... I've tried to do snowboarding, but I, I can't I can't balance on it. I keep falling out of it. I would... I'd be interested to try in it. My grandpa really liked skiing. So I would definitely be interested to see what it's all about. Problem is, I, we don't have any great places to ski in in Michigan, even though it gets cold enough for it and snowy enough for it. There aren't a lot of, like, good mountains here. It's pretty flat. Alright, just free? No, four. Technically, four enemies left, but one of them... Ooh! You have an Elysian Whip! You guys know what that means. If I use a Warp Staff to go down here... Huh. I could warp staff Astol or, like, calf down here, steal the Elysian Whip, and then seize the throne in the same turn to get a chunk of cash. That actually, uh, we, we might be able to do that. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> also, is there a... I'm gonna assume that there is a time limit. Whatever. Oh look, more fighters. Why are you guys targeting Milady? This does not make sense. Do you have like a suicide wish or something? Oh, there goes my iron sword. No. Only hockey I have played is backyard hockey. I do not watch hockey because I do not watch sports because I do not really care for sports. Having said that, I always root for the Red Wings and the Mighty Ducks. Because they're the only two teams I know. I am a very boring man. <laughs> I see the appeal of sports. I just... I do not actually find appeal in them. Okay, everybody escaped. Hooray! Alright, Calf, keep unlocking the chests. Oh, hey, a sweep staff! Final, how the turntables. Okay. Bards are so good. Bards are so good. Alright, you have an axe reaver. So, we're gonna equip a sword. No, not not the Iron Blade. He needs to preserve that. Oh man, Ellen I think can kick the boss's butt. That'll be fun. What is the most powerful weapon in Fire Emblem 6? I mean, out of the weapons I have thus far, Durandel, I think, seems to be the most... Actually, no, Armads has the highest strength, for sure. But it's also not as accurate as Durandel is. I'm gonna keep Trek here just in case there are more ambush spawns that'll be like, Kill Sophia! Kill Sophia! I have a hunch that they would. Oh, look! More, more fighters that would say, Kill Sophia! Kill Sophia! There we go. Nice job, Deke. Oh, wow. I'm actually okay with that. <laughs> Missing a 90%. This means that no, but none of the other fighters will be able to attack her. That could have been bad. If she had one-rounded him and gotten hit, she could have died. Woo, that was a good level up. Nice one, Sophia. I don't want to kill Sophia. I'm going to do my best. I had a premonition. I had a thought that they would have more ambush spawns, so that's why I kept Trek behind. Here we 
go. Track can keep wrecking them big time. We can keep winning bigly. Alright, Trek. Nice level up. Well, I haven't seen it yet. Alright, Trek. Wow. Trek has gotten... I think I've gotten unbelievably stat-blessed with my Trek. Look at this! He's pushing almost 20 in every single category. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. It's good. Oh my gosh, this is... Seriously, I like Trek has gotten just good level up after good level up. He's he's amazing. I think I'm just getting ridiculously RNG blessed with him, based on what the experts of Fire Emblem Six have been saying in Twitch chat. Rock the Trek, bah. Nosferatu. Oh, who has kind of empty? Okay, what do I have in my pockets? Here, I want to take that, and I'm going to take... no, that's fine. Now, hang on. Rorts, you have a spear. Uh, okay, okay, no, we can do this. Druid man don't move, so we'll, s we'll rob him of his red gem, if <laughs> that was a Spongebob reference. There we go. Rorts will attack Deke, but there ain't too much he's going to be able to do. Now, again, I can't quite remember if... You know what? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this up. I can't... Because I know the requirements for the side quest are Zealot and uh, Yuno have to be alive. I can't remember if I also have to finish it within a turn limit. But one way or another, I want to make sure I don't miss him. Okay, yep, got to complete it within 25 turns. Okay, we're on turn 15, so we still have a good while. But I do want to pick up the pace, so we will not be building supports this chapter. Oh, hey, mercenaries over there. That's interesting. S someone come and defend me! It's all over if I'm hurt! Not really. <laughs> Ooh, another Worm Slayer. That's good. Here, I'm gonna take those from you. So hopefully Ellen will be able to help you, uh... Ooh, okay! And you have Nosferatu, which is just making this super annoying. Alright. It's Durandel time, Woody! <laughs> Because I don't like him being able to heal with Nosferatu. Why don't I have four blaze with me? Okay, Rortz is actually kind of scary. Actually, not really. <laughs> me, 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 me. Alright, there we go. I was wondering if he would dodge. Okay, never mind. Rorts, you're going down. Why does he have more dodge now? Let's try this. 
Nice one, Lelina. W wait Be my servant! It's still not too late! I shall forgive your crime of turning your blade toward me! <laughs> what a... what a chump. What a coward. So, perish all traitors. Actually... Melina... Okay, Melina's level 7 with 14 speed. Sophia... is level 6 with 14 speed. So actually, speed wins would be a good candidate for both of them. His face looks creepy. That's because he's a bad guy. Bad guys look cre inherently creepy, don't you know? The farm missed all the action! Oh look! Roy can seize next turn! <laughs> uh, who- oh, okay. Here we go. Here, take your- take that red gem. Oh, this is great! We'll be able to finish this next chapter- or er, next chapter! <laughs> This turn, we can finish, fans. Alright. Would have loved... Oh, she's so close to A rank. This is good. Alright. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Give me that Elysian Whip. Thank you very much. And then... Conquer! Next is Burn. Master Roy, part of Burn's army is hiding in the ruins on the outskirts of Edessa. Ruins? Yes, they say in it lies a spear that was used during the Dragon-Human Wars. What? That spear. It is most probably a divine weapon. We must hurry to the ruins. Excuse me. Yes? Are you the one who saved us? No, I am... Thank you! Thanks to you, we can now stand here safely. Uh, but she didn't do it. Please accept this token of our gratitude. Thank you! I shall hand this to Roy. I'm never a junk grove! <gasps> oh, it's my lucky day! Alright, yeah. <laughs> so the stream went a bit longer than usual, but we had a slightly shorter than usual stream on Monday. And so now, I think it'll even out. So, this has been fun. I was I was definitely worried at a couple of those parts on that chapter, but we pulled through. And now, we have unlocked chapter 20X, The Spear of Ice and Snow. It's going to be another side quest chapter where we're getting another divine weapon, but that will have to wait until Monday of next week. Because we are all out of time for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. This was an awesome stream. It was great chatting with you all tonight. Saturday, we will be streaming Pikmin 2, and we're starting in the Snake Hole, so it's gonna be a lot of fun! Gonna be a lot of rage! <laughs> that's that's okay, RS. There will be plenty more to talk about in future streams. But thank you for uh, being an active member of Twitch chat, I really appreciate that. And for all of you who lurked, I love you too. Don't even worry about it. Thanks for watching, everybody! I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your night, a good rest of your week, and God bless.